During my new audit software training, my office chair just fell apart in the middle of my sentence. It threw me in the floor. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday. This is gonna be a random day vlog and I hope that I can get everything I need to get done today. Backstory, yesterday my work computer just quit. It completely died, it shut down, it wouldn't let me back in. My organization's in Nashville and I'm in Knoxville. That's three hours away. So I can't just like run to the office real quick and get a spare computer. They ended up actually having a spare computer at one of our other Knoxville offices. So I went over there, got my new laptop, got it all set up. So I was working on it with my new laptop yesterday and that takes a long time as you guys know if you work getting a new laptop and everything all the programs you need on it downloading switching everything over getting a vpn getting your clients vpns so it took a whole lot of time yesterday doing all of that on top of that monday through thursday of last week i was in a training all morning on our new audit software so we're getting a brand new audit software that we're starting as soon as this audit deadline's up so the next week after that and it is so complicated so i'm trying to tell myself heaven you'll learn it it'll be fine you're gonna laugh about how overwhelmed that you felt when it first got implemented during the training, I wasn't able to practice everything on my own and follow along with the class because my work computer was literally on its last leg and it wouldn't load anything. The fan was running super hot. It was about to blow up the whole week. So I was watching the class, never got to really try anything. I actually reached out to our management and asked if I could be put in next week's class as well because we're doing two more classes for the rest of our staff next week. So I'm taking the audit software class twice. However, this audit needs to get done by Friday. And so I logged on today to work to get kind of a head start get things going just make me feel a little less behind and my auto program isn't working on my new laptop <laughs> i don't know why it worked yesterday it's it's not working today it just it wouldn't so i spent 30 minutes trying to get it to work i tried all the things that i could think to think of but because it's saturday none of our it people are, are on right now also as if this week wasn't enough just all over the place coming back after my two weeks off i think it was on wednesday during my new audit software training i was talking to the class and my desk chair completely fell apart. My office chair just fell apart in the middle of my sentence. It threw me in the floor. I'm fine, I didn't hurt myself. I was hysterically laughing for like literally 45 minutes. I could not compose myself. All of a sudden my chair just gave up and just quit. So it was given to me free by my mom at the beginning of COVID when I thought I'd only be working from home for like what, one or two weeks and now it's been like nine months. So I was very thankful that she gave me this chair. As you can see it's, it's broken. So I'm back to my plastic chair which literally breaks my back it's you know for aesthetic purposes not practical purposes and I have a pillow to sit on so that's what brings us to today buying a new office chair if I sound very stressed and overwhelmed I am there's just a lot going on it's just it'll be fine I'll be fine guys I'll be fine I'm literally learning a brand new audit software while also learning how to in charge for the first time and my computer doesn't work and I have to take the class twice and hopefully I learn something and also I need to buy a desk chair so let's go over the parameters for my office chair as you can tell with my desk it's very narrow back here I tried a much larger chair like uh, six months ago and it would not spin. So the arms kind of trapped it in here and it wouldn't spin so I couldn't get in and out. Therefore, I need an armless chair like you see here. Number one, no arms. Number two, I really don't have to have wheels. I, I won't be wheeling around like all over my <laughs> apartment. There's no need for that. So I don't have to have wheels. That's another thing. Three, I really don't need like an office chair. I really just need a chair. So whether that be a dining room table chair chair, whatever kind of chair. I don't know any other options. <laughs> I'm telling you guys my budget right now, $100. I'm not spending over $100 for a chair. I know you guys are going to make fun of me for that because everyone's like, oh, you need your good back support and you need this and that. You work from home for 10 years and spend $500 on a chair. $100, y'all. I may go over. We'll see. If I find my dream chair, then we'll work with it. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I feel like I just talked for like 10 minutes. My first stop that I'm going to try and find a chair is the at-home store. I think they're in most places. They have a lot of stuff. Actually, I lied to you guys. I totally forgot forgot that we have an Ashley home store here in Knoxville. I think it's been here for years. So yeah, I'm gonna go here because this is where I just bought my dresser during quarantine for a really good price and I love that dresser. So we're gonna check them out first. Also, I made my homemade iced coffee today with my real coffee beans. My grandma got me a coffee bean grinder for Christmas and on my Instagram, several of you have wanted me to show you how I make my different coffees because I've really gotten into it. I haven't bought coffee out and about in over two months because I just love my own coffee so much. But that's irrelevant to this vlog and this video, so I may do that later, or I may do it for IGTV and maybe not YouTube, but anyways, let's go look for an office chair. Nestle Home Store. Okay, 
Okay guys, Ashley was not, not good success. They only have four in store. Their online inventory has like a million things, so they don't have a lot of office chairs, but now we're gonna go to the at-home store. All right, store number two. This store has more home decor than actual furniture, so I don't know if I'll find anything, but we'll try. So these are all dining room chairs, but none of them have arms, which is what I want. They also don't have wheels, but I don't see any that seem, you know, perfect. This is essentially my current chair with actual padding. Ooh, why would it get so dirty though? Yeah, let's turn this ship around. Okay, at home was a fail. They had a lot of really great dining chairs, which is kind of sort of what I'm going for, but I didn't find any specifically that jumped out at me, but I'm really glad that they had a lot in stock, unlike a lot of these places that have everything online. <sighs> so next, I think I'll try Target, which I don't think Target's gonna have anything priced well. Target's fantastic, but they are not cheap. I'm also sort of thinking like, what if Home Depot or Lowe's has some? I don't know, we'll see. You guys know how Target is. I bought all kinds of stuff that I actually need that you can't get at the grocery store. But I'm also on the hunt for wash rags for my face. So I'm looking for those and I need a new pillow. All four of mine are flat as a rock and it's it's not working. All right guys, Target was so crowded and overwhelming. I was literally sweating. I'm still sweating. It's 33 degrees outside. <laughs> Really quick Target haul in case you're interested. New pillow, new pillow, more vitamin C powder, Pepto-Bismol, Gas-X, IBS probs, deodorant, eye drops, toothpaste, two white wash rags so I can bleach them, and then one pretty wash rag, mouthwash. And they finally had a sale on my Cliff Bars. Cliff Bars are so expensive, but they're so good, and they keep me full for hours, so they're worth the money, but I've never seen them have a sale, and they were buy one, get one half off. <sighs> I'm exhausted. That was so wrong. Also, they were doing like a marketing campaign or something in there. They had TV cameras, the lights, all in the grocery section. And it is like so crowded. Like today is not the day to be doing your little magazine stuff. Why wouldn't they do that on like Monday morning? Unless they needed the crowd in the background, but then you gotta send out papers, make sure everyone's okay with being in the ad. I don't know, it was very weird. Oh yeah, no luck with the office chairs. They only had like three chairs in stock in general in the whole store, but I didn't really think Target was gonna have any. So I know you guys are screaming at me to go to Stables and Office Max. I went to Office Max in March when Corona started when I needed an office chair and the cheapest chair they had in there was $250. I will sit in my plastic chair before I pay that for a freaking office chair. Let me look up a Staples or Office Max or Office Depot just to see if there's one around here. Also, Home Depot and Lowe's are nowhere near me, so I'll probably check that later. There is an Office Depot here. I think this is actually where my mom got her desk chair. I totally forgot about that. It's really close to Target. What the heck? All right. Don't get your hopes up, y'all. I'm probably gonna run in and out in five minutes once I see these prices. Maybe COVID has brought more competition with desk chairs and they'll have cheaper prices. More affordable options. I don't wanna say cheap because I want good quality, but I'm not willing to pay the price. Oh my gosh, Old Navy. Oh, I need jeans so bad. I'm down to two pair of jeans, y'all. But we have two pair. We don't have zero, so we don't need it right now. But we do need a desk chair because right now we have like half a chair and my back's broke, so we're gonna have to get one. Office Max. Guys, I don't hate this. It's not my dream chair, but it was pretty comfortable. It's good and padded. It's pretty simple. It's not cheap, nor is it on sale, but I kind of like it and I think it would fit. I may get copyrighted with music in the background, so I can't talk much, but the salesmen are staring at me right now, so that's awkward. I haven't told me to put my camera up yet. Given how desperate and last minute that I need this chair today and I don't have time to buy one online, that's probably my best bet. $30 over my budget with tax would be an extra like 15. About 150 for a chair. I need another return policy in case it does hurt my back. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with it, y'all. I don't hate it. I don't 100% love it, but I think it'll be okay. These employees are literally staring at me. They'll probably say something at checkout. I'll keep you guys posted. Let's get the chair. Let's hope they have it in stock. That's the display only. Oh, this chair is like almost $300. Hold on, let's test it out. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, this is soft leather. 
No, I'm just testing them all out. <laughs> I can extend this. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's get out of here before we get in trouble. It's one of two chairs in the whole store that don't have arms, but I like it. I think it'll work. I honestly don't feel bad about it. This one's full of cat hair, so that's interesting. I bought the chair, you guys. I'm gonna pull up up front and he's gonna load it in there. I don't wanna embarrass myself and try and carry it and then actually not be able to. Y'all, they had a hot pink color in this chair. I was cracking up. He was like, don't tell me you want the pink because it took him forever to get the gray one off the shelf. I was like, no, I'll stick with gray, but that was hilarious, literally hot pink. actually got a chair and I didn't have to get one online and wait like seven to a hundred days for it to ship because of the high demand. Putting it together may be a nightmare because I have zero talent, skill, ability, motivation, desire to build any furniture. Anyways, I'm so excited I got a chair. Oh, I can't wait to set it up. Hopefully it's great. Hopefully there's no like giant blemishes on it. The return policy is 14 days, which is fantastic. I'll know within the first week. I'll give myself like a week, but I'm, I think it'll be fun. This is a very expensive day, you guys. I'm not a spender and Target was $107 and that chair with tax was $147. <laughs> but I need the dust chair. <gasps> A golden doodle. You just little doodle. Hey guys, I'm back home. I'm going to attempt to try and put together this office chair. If it gets too frustrating or annoying, I'm going to just put it away for another day. Because I do have work I need to get done today and it is already three o'clock. So, not convenient. Ugh. If you're interested in the details of this chair, it is the Brenton Studio brand Dexy Task Chair. Here goes nothing, y'all. This already looks complicated. This is either the butt or the back. Looks like the butt could be the back. Here's our package of tools. Up and down thing of the chair. The bottom part. Okay fam, step one. Select a smooth surface in order not to scratch the parts. Step one, y'all, I already can't figure it out. This is what I mean by I'm not meant to be building furniture. It says to put these on here, no tools are necessary, and it won't go on. Ow. Okay, you just gotta push it really hard. I don't wanna break it. Step one, step two. They told me to do this on a flat surface. This is pretty flat, cushy. This way. That's on there. Yes, fun. Oh, no. Looks like Mufasa hanging from the cliff. Ah! All right. Okay, it says not to tighten it until we're completely done. So, but they're in there. So this bad boy goes on this bad boy. I just think it's not light, y'all. Oh. I don't know if it's in there. It didn't click. All right, it may be in there. It may not, we don't know. I don't know why I was looking for more directions. We are done. My chair is put together. Okay, let me finish tightening this because it said not to for some reason. Go back to the couch. So these pieces are not super tight. All right, I think we're good. I don't want it to fall apart. I wish you guys could have seen that thing literally fall apart during my meeting. I have a desk chair. Out with this one and in with this one. Definitely need to raise it up. Oh my gosh, it fits. <gasps> oh, I love it, I love it. See how I can't really spin because it's so tight over here. Ooh. That's why I couldn't get like a chair with arms because this would literally lock me in. Do we like it? I love it. Wow. And the gray matches the whole aesthetic of my living room. My living room is a disaster. Why am I showing you this? So I don't know what to do with this guy. He's literally broken, but like you can physically sit in it if you really wanted to. <laughs> I may have to take him to the dump, to the landfill. All right, you guys, what a day has already been. It's almost 3.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here of getting my desk chair. I'm gonna log on to work, actually, and hope that I can actually connect to our audit program. If it's not gonna work, then I have to just work overtime next week, which isn't the worst case scenario. It'll be fine, I'll figure it out. A big stress that I was feeling today was the fact that I had to go buy a chair, and I figured it was gonna take me like a week to find one, and my back was breaking from this bad boy, so very thankful I found one. 
Also, I'll keep you guys posted in the future on if the chair holds up, if it hurts my back, if I have any issues with it. This is gonna be a very intense work week next week. But the week after that, starting my new audit as an in-charge for the first time ever. I've never in-charged my own audit. And I'll be using a brand new audit software that I still don't know how to use. But hopefully after next week with taking the training class again, I'll have a better grasp on it. So a lot of good things coming this spring, a lot of changes, a lot of, you know, just moving on up in the accounting world. So I plan to do some work vlogs coming up. I know a lot of you guys like to watch those. So yeah. Anywho, that's it for today's vlog. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.